Hi again, YouTubers. Just uh, gonna be in the garage, just have a quick look before I start soldering. So this is the back of the Zero EV uh, module, replacement module. You can see the wiring there. So you can see the two temperature gauges: temperature one, temperature two. For the left hand side, temperature one, temperature two for the right hand side. You just see the sensors there. So everything literally connects back into this board. Uh, and then you've got another output. So just come into the top here, just refocus that. There you can see the Molex connector there. And um, that's what we're now gonna do, is to cable that up. Okay, be back in a sec. Okay, hi YouTubers. So today we're gonna be wiring in for the Tesla module, the Batco ISDT. BGAS balance charger. So now you may have guessed that the board that you need to replace the BMS with with the Tesla module is the Zero EV or Stealth EV in the United States and that's a 12 way connector which is called a Molex connector into the JSTXH which will go into your balance charger. Um, you'll need to make these leads up yourself or get someone to do it. Fairly easy to do. Always a good idea to heat shrink uh, these little cables as well. Uh, and once they go into the connector they're quite difficult to get out. Um, so make sure that you've got the wiring the right way around. On the boards, the replacement boards, the BMS boards, it has a little wiring diagram where they are. So make sure that you double check that. Um, otherwise you'll get some strange voltage read readings. And you'll know that you haven't... Uh, cable it up correctly. So this will be the first stage. Once I've soldered all of these up as well, I'm just going to give a little bit of solder on each one. Then I'm going to connect it to the board and the next part of the video I shall show you it connected to the actual module itself. Okay, I just finished off one of the cells. So all the modules fitted. Um, had to adjust some of the connectors in here because um, they weren't quite correct um, and now it's all wired in to the the back goat and it's all starting to balance up now so that one's ready I've just got to finish off the uh, the next module pack I just um, I was gonna heat shrink the um, the harness thing here but I just used electrical tape around this one it's not quite as uh, neat but um, I didn't want to squeeze down the uh, cables together too much um, but I might I might do the next one in heat shrink we'll have to see see how it works okay 